Sometimes it could be very stressful when we try to transfer data from our iPhone devices to our MacBook. But fortunately, there is a software for that known as 3 uchus But for a MacBook, you cannot install the 3 uchus And there is an alternative program for that that is known as i 4 tools In one of my earlier videos, we've learned how to install i 4 tools on our MacBook. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a complete guide on how you can be able to use i 4 tools completely in order to transfer data from the iPhone to the MacBook or the vice versa. So let's quickly get into this. Now this is the logo of the i4 tools and as you can see the name is also written in Chinese on my MacBook. Now on other devices the name could be written as i4 tools. I understand that this is actually the latest version. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and have the application opened up. So this is basically how the first interface looks like once you have opened it up. And what you need to do after opening up the i4 tools is to find an original iPhone cable. Now, basically, there are some cables that are used for this particular job. The name written on it is actually data cable. Now, basically, these type of cables are used for the transfer of data from your MacBook to your iPhone device. But if you cannot be able to find a similar cable, your original iPhone cable is good for this. Once you cannot be able to have a successful connection between your MacBook and your iPhone device, the cable is at fault. So we are quickly going to connect the iPhone to the MacBook using this particular cable. And one thing you need to know before we move on is during this process, make sure you connect your MacBook to Wi-Fi or internet connection. The reason you need to connect your MacBook to your Wi-Fi or internet connection, I will be explaining that along the way in this video. So once I have connected the cable to the MacBook, I will be using my iPhone X for this particular tutorial and I want to transfer data from my iPhone to the MacBook and I want to also receive a data from the MacBook to the iPhone device as well. So quickly, we are going to be plugging the data cable into our iPhone devices. And once you have successfully connected your cable to your iPhone, you will see the interface of the iPhone tools on the MacBook change. The MacBook connection has successfully been made. You are told not to use faulty cables for this. Do not connect multiple cables during this process in order to have a stable connection. Go ahead and click on to OK and then you are moving on. And you can see the interface of my iPhone clearly being shown on the MacBook on the iPhone tools. Everything on your iPhone can now be seen on the MacBook. Now it's left with how to be able to transfer the data from both devices. Now on the MacBook, we have a particular icon below. It is the icon for the i4 tools, which means install the mobile version. That is going to have the mobile version installed on your phone. Now I have got that installed already and I do not want to click on it or do that. So what basically this particular icon is used for is that it's going to be having the mobile version of the i4 tools installed on your phone. So once you have made a successful connection, Go ahead and click on it and that is going to have the mobile version installed on your phone. Now initially, the name of this particular application on the iPhone was APS Tools but it's been changed now to SimNote. So take notes so you don't get confused if you have installed any of the names that I've mentioned. Now I must emphasize that everything reaching on the iPhone tools is reaching in Chinese. Now for you to be able to find your way around very quickly is to install Google Translate on your phone. You can be able to capture the words on the screen and then Google Translate will be able to help translate the words into English for you. But it is advisable that once you have made a stable connection, do not be shaking your phone around or moving it around. That is going to have the connection you have made disconnected. So quickly, we are going to be having the SimNote application opened, which like I said, can be known as APS tools on other phones. Scroll sideways to move on, and then you are finally going to click on to allow to have access to your device. And this is basically how the interface looks on the mobile device. So the first thing we are going to be doing is learning how to transfer files from our iPhone to the MacBook. So quickly, I'm going to be showing you my photo library for you to see my recent photo that I would like to have sent onto the MacBook. So this is basically my recent photo on the iPhone. I'm going to be having this photo transferred onto the MacBook. What I need to do is that I will be going straight onto the iPhone to watch clearly why I am clicking. I'm going to be clicking onto album which is rightly cycled. So this is clearly the album on the iPhone to It's going to display all the various albums on your iPhone device. 
So the photo that I want to send onto the MacBook is located in the recent album. You can clearly see the picture I want to send. What I need to do is I'm going to be having the picture selected by clicking on it once. Go ahead and click onto the export icon. Now this basically is the icon for export. We have this particular icon also known as import. There are two different icons. Make sure you know the differences. Like I said, you can use Google Translate on the phone that you are sending so that you can be able to see the meaning of some of the words written in Chinese that will be translated directly into English language for you. Go ahead and click on to export. You are going to be shown where the item is going to be placed. You can work your way around through this particular spot, I believe. To be on the safer side for myself, I will be placing this particular footage on the MacBook desktop. And once you have clicked on to OK, as you can see, the item has successfully been exported or sent onto our MacBook. So let's go onto the desktop and then see the photo that I have sent. And clearly, here is the photo and then the location being brought up, I can decide to open it up if you want. So you can clearly get a clue of how you can be able to send an item or any footage or data from your iPhone device to the MacBook. So basically that has been it on how you can be able to send data from your iPhone to the MacBook. Now we are going to be learning the vice versa. That is how you can be able to receive item from the MacBook to your iPhone device. It can be videos, pictures, documents, or any other item that is on your computer. But before we move on, I need to show you again what the last photo in my album looks like. Basically, as you can all see, it has been the photo that I sent earlier. So moving on, I'm going to be having something sent onto the iPhone device from the MacBook. So again, when you go onto the iPhone on the MacBook, what you need to do is to click onto album. Now, initially, when you go onto the iPhone this is basically what the first interface looks like before you are going to be clicking onto album. So when we click onto album, we are going to be having the recent album opened, which I have opened earlier. We can move back and then have a dashboard for all the albums available on my iPhone device. So quickly, I'm going to be sending a photo. I'm going to be looking through the desktop and then I've seen the picture of Neymar Jr. that I'm going to be using for this particular tutorial. I'm going to be using just a picture because it will not waste a lot of time. Go ahead and click on to import. Now, when you click on to import, you are going to be met with two options. One, which is the top one, is actually for a file. The second one is actually for a folder. We are going to be selecting a file, which is the first option. Where exactly is the file located? Mine is located on the desktop. I have actually named the photo Nema. So clearly, as you can see, I'm going to be selecting that particular photo. Now, from this particular point, what you need to know is that Throughout this period of receiving data from your MacBook to the iPhone device, what you need to do first of all is to open up the SIM note application on your iPhone device. Go ahead and have it open. And sometimes there may be challenges you may face. You may not be able to have the mobile version of the iPhone, which is now known as SIM note, opened. If you've not been able to have it installed properly, sometimes when you have it opened, you may not be able to have an interface that we are working with at the moment. What you need to do is to go ahead and have it deleted. Go through the process of installing it on how you've been taught again. So once this aspect has been settled, what we need to do is to move onto the MacBook. I have got the footage or the image selected already. What I need to do is to click on to OK. And on the iPhone device, you are going to be asked that SIM Note would like to access your photos. Go ahead and click on to allow access. And then within a twinkle of a minute, you will have your footage or your image received from the MacBook to the iPhone device. So quickly, when I go into my gallery or the photo library on the iPhone device, you can see the photo of Nema Jr. which we have sent or received recently. So basically, this is the image that I wanted to send. As you can see, it is seen on the iPhone and then also visibly seen on the MacBook. Thank you so much. If you have enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe for more of this content in the coming days.